One of the most fascinating prospects eligible for the 2019 draft is, of course, you've heard this name, <laughs> Zion Williamson, yeah. who's developed a viral following Beast. with his impressive athleticism, to say the least. Uh, not in the time I've been doing for 15 years, and I've never seen a player like Zion Williams, who is, Williamson, who is so um, strong and, and as athletic and he is, is but, it, but also undersized and not particularly skilled in terms of facing the basket, being able to shoot three-pointers. It's here. We have a Zion Williamson NBA 2K19 My Career Series. We're going to prove that reporter wrong. He can be able to shoot. He's going to be great in the NBA. But we got to start off in high school. So here we go. High school, he beat up all the little white boys. But if we want this college championship, we need a full roster. RJ Barrett is joining the squad too. So Duke already is stacked with the top two recruits. RJ Barrett from Mount Verde. He's going to be a good helping hand. But it doesn't stop there. We have two more great recruits right here. We have Cam Reddish and Trey Jones filling out this solid roster that's going to help us get this NCAA championship. Now here's the official roster I have. Huge shout out to Rob Davis. I'll put all of his credits and everything that he worked on in the description below. Go check him out for PC mods. He is the dude. He helped me out so much. Really appreciate you. So here is the official roster that we have. He made his own roster for college. He made a whole college mod and that's what we're using for this series. Also the high school mod as well. Go check that out if you want to play with college teams. But this roster is looking pretty nice. Now if you look at the schedule, our schedule is pretty packed with a bunch of different college teams. It's time. Florida Gators are our first matchup. Roster isn't looking too great for them. Zion Williamson, let's get to work. And here we go, game one, episode one of the Zion Williamson My Career Series. I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who made this possible, all the people who made the community designs, people who made the mods. It's looking great, but RJ Barrett starting off the game, making a mid-range jump shot. Now, if you guys paid attention in real life, Zion Williamson and RJ Barrett are going off right now in college. They're making all type of headlines. They're saying Zion Williamson is the next LeBron James. Let me tell you why he's the next LeBron James. Not even two minutes into the game and Zion's already getting highlights. What a good way to start off. What's crazy is I recorded this all before. Oh my God. Okay. We will not talk about that. That never happened. You understand me? But lately, Zion Williamson's been going off and people are doubting him. Say he can't shoot. Look at this three right here. We make it. He can shoot. All right. Zion Williamson is capable. I mean, the dude is almost 300 pounds and he's 18. And that's been a big thing that critics are saying is going to hold him back and stuff, which is true. His knees are going to be dead by the time he's 22. So he, he has to lose some weight. I mean, unless he wants to play center and maybe possibly grow a few inches, doesn't look like that's happening. But RJ Barrett, he's putting in work himself. I have the wrong number for RJ Barrett. He's wearing number 23. So with some stuff you just can't change. It's, it's a lot of detail. I can't really get into it or I can't get into it. I don't want to. I'm getting blocked though with Zion Williamson, but Cam Reddish. I feel bad for Cam Reddish this game. He didn't really go off. I mean, he missed a wide open shot. In real life, he's playing really good. But in this video right here, not too well. This game gets intense near the end. Let me tell you right now. You want to stay throughout this whole video. It gets intense. Zion Williamson, wait, point get out the way. Why are they trying? Zion Williamson is unstoppable. He's playing good defense right here, too. His presence is felt. He has takeover activated. I'm going all the way. I got to pass it off to RJ Bear. Let's see what he can do with the ball. He's a pure scorer, man. That's what he does. I have the ball. I should be passing it, right? I had the coach tell me to pass it. Guess what? It's Ion Williamson. I'm going all the way. And I'm getting a little fancy with it, too. I don't know what I did, to be honest with you. I double tapped X probably, and that just happened. So, yeah. I don't have to do that next time. Anyway, Trey Jones with the ball. Going to the paint. I'm cutting it all the way with the slam. We got some good momentum right now with Zion, getting a feel for him, and they're making three-pointers. Like I said, it gets, it gets better. Just hold on. I'm setting the screen for RJ Barrett, has a wide open shot, and he makes it because of my screen. And as you guys may have noticed, there's lines and arrows all over the court when I'm on offense. That's because I have the coach telling me what to do. I had to turn on that setting because in college basketball, you better listen to your coach. And that's what Zion has to do. So he's doing what the coach is telling him to do, which is why I'm trying to replicate it. Now, as you can see right here, it's the fast break. I can't really take it in. It's a couple people in there. I feed it out. You know, we have Trey Jones with the ball. He gives me the ball. And oh my God, the left side's open. I see a white bald headed man. They always try to guard him. Why do they even try at this point? Give up. It's Zion Williamson. It's like they don't know who he is. It's disrespectful. It's rude and disrespectful. Get out of his face. Again, I'm passing it off. RJ Barrett, you can't double team. That's the issue. When you're guarding this team, you cannot double team because you got Cam Reddish, you got RJ Barrett, Zion Williamson, Trey Jones, etc. 
You can't stop it. Now we have RJ Barrett coming off the screen. He has the ball. He's going to the paint. I'm cutting in too. I'm like, all right, all right, RJ. You gotta, you gotta pass it eventually. I'm open in the corner. I'm not open anymore. I'm not open anymore. I gotta create a shot. I have to, I have to. I see Cam Reddish and I'm kind of a jerk. I gave it to him in one second left. That is messed up, first of all. People do that on my part and I hate people like that. And he's doing a step back jump shot for Florida. I don't know his name. I mean, these players are generated. Not everyone's accurate. But there are gonna be some episode where hold up, oh my. <laughs> It's crazy, man. It's just highlights upon highlights upon highlights. You have a good lead. I'm passing it off, and yeah, so <laughs> look, I'm not a passer. And he's getting high layups above Zion. That's the only way to shoot a layup when Zion's in the paint. Now, look, I'm trying to get some cool dribble moves. Zion could dribble. Don't get it twisted, and I'm getting blocked, though. That's the bad part about it. I'm still, I have the ball. I'm passing it off now. RJ Barrett with one second left on the shot clock. He's telling everyone to be quiet, which, you know, be quiet so yeah listen to him anyway i'm i'm following it's an one i don't know why that happened i always do that whenever i play 2k it's kind of bad i'm going all the way in the paint i'm just telling him to get off me but i don't have the ability to make a contested shot with zion just yet we gotta practice on that he's gonna upgrade he's gonna you know improve over the season all the way we draw the foul now we're at the line we gotta hit this free throw first free throw for his career and he air balls it he's airballing free throws that's not a good look at all the second one though he makes it it rattles in so look, as you can tell, this isn't a my career series. This or this isn't my career series, but I'm not in the actual my career mode. How am I playing with college players and how it doesn't show a teammate grade? This is actually an open three. You can't guard him. You can't. You gotta be in his face. All right. But anyway, as I was saying, oh damn. Oh, what am I doing? Why I should have went up all the way. When I look back at that, I should have just posted someone. I really should have. But again, I'm cutting in. I'm hoping I can get something going, but. I guess we gotta take a break from the highlights and just play some good old basketball. I'm playing defense though, but he's open, he makes it. So as I was saying, this isn't a my career, my career mode series. It's my league. I'm in my league and I created all this, so that's how I'm doing it for those of you wondering. Again, everything in the description below. Shout out to Rob Davis, he's the one who helped me so much making this possible. So go subscribe to him, go check out all of his stuff. I'm getting that out of here. Zion is not having any of that in his paint. To end the first half, now look, the way it's set up too with this game, look at the pass. That vision. Zion has vision. It's crazy because in real life, he really plays like this too. If you guys watch his college highlights that he played a couple games ago, a couple of days ago, he went off when it comes to passing and everything. But some things you may notice right now is the way the game is set up. First of all, that's a dumb travel. I don't know why I did that. The way the game is set up, all right, it's not two halves. It's four quarters, which is something I don't know how to change. I don't know if you can change it. That's out of my control. I should cut that block. But it, that's out of my control. Like, I can't change that. But it would have been really nice to have two 20-minute halves, like in real life. But unfortunately, I can't do that. That's one thing that kind of that kind of uh, bugged me. But another thing, too, is the shot clock. And oh, my God. Get out of his face. Why? Every time. This is the fifth time today. The fifth time today. Why even go in the paint with Zion's there? That's just dumb. That's dumb. And one. For Trey Jones following him. Why is he following him? I don't know. The lead, we're down by nine. I gotta somehow rally my team back, and we're doing it. So the 30 second shot clock, and that's not in the game. It's only 24 seconds. I can't find a way to fix that consistently. But it's all good though, because in the end of the day, it's about Zion Williamson. All the way, he's getting blocked. What's going on? We gotta get it together. We're losing to the Florida Gators. We're talking about Florida. I don't know if you know this. The state of Florida, Florida, they don't have the brightest people, like at all. And like, you know, whenever you hear about something crazy, it is, it's from Florida. So you can't lose to a team from Florida. Get out the way. We got to rally the team back. Zion leaving an open hand for three. Why? I don't know. I must have been, I must have been tired. I'm going to the paint though, getting the layup. We don't give up. I see Trey Jones open. He better shoot it and he makes it. Again, I feed RJ Barrett and he gets a good layup. I'm playmaking now. Zion Williamson is being a playmaker at this point, making a wide open mid range shot. That's needed. That's clutch. Now, 17 seconds left in the third quarter. I called for the ball. The dumbest decision of the game. Why did I do that? That would have been an easy two points. And who knows how the game would have ended if I ended up just letting him shoot it. In the paint. Get that out of his paint. Don't ever, ever come in my paint with that BS. Again, playing some good defense. He still makes the layup. It's only so much you can control. It's the fourth quarter. It's like, you know, we have five minutes left and we're down by a lot, but it's okay. Because Zion Williamson is here to save the day. Again, I'm feeding Cam Reddish and he's making layups. One problem I didn't do is involve the whole team as much. I tried to at some moments, but like the whole team, not really. RJ Barrett is my go-to man right here. 
He just is a non-stop scorer. It's great to have that on your team. Now look, I feed him again. He's going in with the layup. We have a chance. We really have a chance to come back. If you pay attention to the scoreboard, it's 70 to 75. Also, there's three minutes left and I have the whole paint. You already know what that means. I'm just, at this point, if it's if it's Zion Williamson in the open paint, it's over. It's a highlight every time. Every single time. Now, I'm playing good defense right here, but he still makes the layup. That's just, that's just skill. Two minutes left, I shoot a three, and the crowd is literally shaking this whole arena. And I'm pl trying to play good defense again. I get the block, and it's all for me. I couldn't keep my hands on it, and I'm angry. Zion is angry, and they're making shots. No, they're not. They're getting tips right back. I don't know how this is happening. I'm getting my shot sent out of here. Literally, I don't know who that is. The ball had to do the game. RJ Barrett is making his shot, though. He's the reason we were in this game. I'm telling you, he is the reason we're in this game. They just keep scoring, and it's annoying. So, it's a five-point game. I got to go in the paint. Oh, get out the way, bum. We can't lose the season, David. We go all the way, we draw the foul. We can't lose this game. Zion Williams has all the pressure. First free throw goes in. We got to do that one more time. We got to do that one more time. Imagine all the critics if we lose this game. We can't lose this game. It's just, it can't happen. It really can't. All the pressure, the arena is so loud. I'm making the free throw. No, I missed it. I missed the free throw. I'm not clutch. All right, it's all good though. We have a chance on defense and they're throwing lobs. They're really throwing lobs. It's all good. 30 seconds left. I had the ball. I'm in the paint. I got to find a way to score. Anyway, by any means necessary. I call for the ball. Open layup. I almost missed it. But we have it. Our only option is to get a steal or foul. And right now it's not looking too great because I can't get the steal, but we have to foul here. We have 10 seconds and hope they missed the free throw. They made both of the free throws. I'm not even going to show it. They made both of them. I'm calling for the ball and our team turns it over. And that's how we end it. Our team really blew it. And that's the game. He makes his free throws. It's five seconds left. Not much you can do at this point at all. And that's the game. Zion's college debut did not go as expected as planned. Losing to the Florida freaking Gators, bro. The Florida Gators, really? Duke lost to Florida? Okay. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more. Episode 2 is going to be crazy. I'm out. Peace. Redneck.